Hey, you guys. Good morning, good morning, or whatever time it is for you. I am such a morning person. So I am here, coffeeed up, ready to go. And what's on my mind today, and what I want to share with you guys as the time of this recording, it's the end of October. So we have a couple months left in 2023. So, one, don't give up on yourselves right now if you're like, ah, oh, I'll just start in the new year. No, no, no. This could be one of the most valuable times for you to kickstart your goals or to start your goals. So just quick caveat or uh, PSA there. Don't just stop and wait for the new year. Okay. And here we are and people starting to think about their goals for the new year or just in general, right? If you're trying to finish your goals from this year, this concept of the long game. I've heard this from mentors of mine and it finally I mean, honestly, finally clicked with me in regards to my business. And just in general, when we're thinking about our goals, that most of the time when we are trying to make a transformational change, that's something that we're going to be able to keep for the rest of our lives, okay, not just 30 days or 90 days, but some result that we want to keep and then at least be able to maintain, if not grow and go further deeper, right? And get even more better results. In order to do that, we have to play the long game. Meaning, so what I mean by that is so much of our goals and what we're working towards, I see so many times, and this is so prevalent in health, fitness, weight loss, right? And But truly anything, if it's finances, if it's money, if it's even relationships, you know, like finding your person and wanting to get married just like right away, right? Or in finances, if you're like, no, but I want to be out of debt and have all the money right now. Like, how can I do this right now? And in our weight loss or health goals, when it's like, no, but I want to be like, 50 pounds lighter right now. Like, how can I do this right now? And there's such this pressure and urgency. And listen, y'all, I freaking get it. Okay. (laughs) I am a human. I have these same thoughts and feelings too. Okay. And yet when we take a step back and allow ourselves to play the long game, even when our brains are like, no, 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 we need this right now. Okay. Got it. But guess what? That is not the way that it actually happens, right? And I'm pretty sure all of us have probably experienced that at this point in our lives where we've said, you know what, I'm going to do, I'm going to, you know, set this goal for 30 days and lose all this weight or for three months and I'm going to lose 20 pounds or 50 pounds and I'm just going to go whole hog, quote unquote, go all in, like to do these changes. And one of two things generally happens here when we set these really quick fix type goals and thinking short term, I need the thing now versus playing the long game on this end where the amount of work, whether it takes you three months, six months, nine months, three years, 10 years, doesn't matter because you never quit until you get the goal, which is, hap- which is what happens when you play the long game. Oh, and guess what? When you do that, whether it takes you three, six, nine months, a year, three years, doesn't actually matter. I know we think it like, oh, but no, I should have this sooner. Who cares? The fact that you got it then has has you having built the actual skills to then maintain that result for the rest of your life and or you've gotten it and now you're like, great, done, check. Now let me go get more and better. But you can't get that until you actually achieve the first goal, okay? And what happens, back to what I was saying, so what normally happens when we set those quick fix goals, 30, 60, 90 days, three months, heck, even six months sometimes, but it's usually those like more like three months, I need this result now type of goal or less than that. What usually happens is one of two things is we quit like within three days, within a week, within three weeks, like it's just not sustainable to do the like literal go all in and, you know, dump the rest of life 
or willpower our way through it for 30 days or 90 days. So usually we quit because it's not a sustainable, realistic, it's it's like too perfect of a plan that us humans just, we don't work that way. So usually people actually quit. And then you go through the cycle of start stopping. You shit show on yourself because you're like, see, I, I can't do it. Oh, fuck. Like I'm such a whatever. I can never do this. This never works for me. Why does it work for everybody else? Blah, blah, blah. Right? You start going down the bag of shit show thoughts, putting your thoughts in the gutter. And then one day you get the motivation and you're like, okay, but no, this time I'm going to do it. And then three months has already gone by or six months or a year or two years. And you're like, no, 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 no. But this time I'm really going to do it. And you set that quick fix goal again, and then you quit. And that cycle just keeps repeating itself until it's been three years and you've wanted to lose weight now for three years or however many years. So many of my clients have come to me. They're not just like kind of off for a few months. It's like they got off track and then it's been years. Because so many of us try to do that quick fix and then it, they quit and then it becomes months and then you try the same thing again and it becomes months or years. So do you see by quitting because it's not sustainable in the first place and then start stopping how you are still at the same spot? No, you haven't achieved your goal and it's now been years versus playing the long game from the gate to then have reached your goal, most likely not in years, most likely in six months to a year. And even if it did take you the same amount of time, look where you're at, right? If you start at the long game and slow, sustainable, steady results in those two to three years, and now you're able to maintain have reached your goal and maintain it or do more better versus quitting because you did the, tried the quick fix, start stopping four years. You're still stuck. You still haven't achieved your goal. And now you feel like shit. Like your confidence is at the bottom of the barrel. You don't believe in yourself that you can even reach this goal. It feels so hard. You have a story about it for the last three years or a lifetime of how you, you're never going to be able to do it. It's just so hard, right? So that is one of the things that happens is, is just the quitting and then the start stopping cycle that in three years still doesn't have you reaching your goal versus just starting at the long game and giving it the time, the respect, the space that it needs, no matter how long it takes. Okay. And then the second thing that generally happens when we make these quick fix goals the second thing is that, okay, maybe you actually do the things for the 30 days, for the three months, maybe even six months. You actually go all in, you do the things, right? You lose the weight. But then again, even after achieving some results or even your potential goal, you've lost 20 pounds, you've lost 50 pounds. But now it's still not sustainable. It is still not a long game plan. It was something you were able to do for a month, for three months, for six months, whatever it was, maybe even a year. But then life happened as it always will, right? Maybe you get away with like life not happening and having a fantastic year. But then you know what? At some point, Listen, this is the real world. Somebody's going to pass away that's close to you. Something's going to happen in the world. You're going to lose your job. The economy is going to go down. People are going to quit and leave your business. Uh, you're going to have a kid. You're going to have, you know, whatever. Something's going to happen with your relationship. Something's going to happen with your finances. You invest and something goes wrong. This is real life. So playing the long game allots the space for real life. So that even if you were able to willpower your way through three, six months, even a year, if you do not have a long game plan where it's not just, hey, achieve the goal and then go back, what happens is most people in that case achieve the goal, 
But then because it's not a long-term sustainable plan, they revert back to the old ways very quickly. They never truly became the person who has a healthy lifestyle and healthy habits and has the tools and the skills to maintain it for a life because they were they were learning the skills to maintain something for 60 days or 90 days or 6 months or a year they learned the skill of of pushing through which can be a good skill right but when it's used for the end game goal But they learn the skills to only maintain that and push through for six months, a year, three months, whatever it is, versus learning the actual skills to be able to do, maintain this healthy lifestyle choices for life, even when life happens, right? Even after the year goes by, it becomes when you play the long game, it just literally becomes who you are. Okay, so those are the two things that generally happen when we set those short term goals, these quick fix, like I just want and need this result now. Again, (laughs) y'all, I love you. I get it. I get it. I get it. I've done this. I do this, right? And when I take the step back, which is what's something that has just like hit me across the face this year and probably in a lot of the podcasts I've been listening to people I've been around who have been in business for 10 years and are very uber successful with where I want to be. With people who, like myself, for my healthy habits and my weight, right? Like when I, after both babes, when I lost the weight and I've maintained it. And if I ever go within three to five pounds over my weight, I always know exactly how to get back to maintain my weight. And so I've been, I've done this for years. It is who I am, is someone who lives a healthy lifestyle. And that is my identity. And so from that place, I make the healthy choices. Not to say that I'm perfect, y'all. Your girl likes her pizza and her chocolate. And I have low bad days where I don't do the workout either, right? That's still with life going on. That's not being me some like crazy health freak that is, you know, um, I think of like David Goggins or somebody who's like chicken and broccoli all day long, never miss a workout. Like that is not what goes on here. I am a real human and I still get the shit done to hit my goals, but I still have enjoy life and all the things. And I'm able to do that because I'm playing the long game. I don't want to just be healthy and have lost the weight after the baby's like for a season to look good in a dress or a swimsuit or something. And Those are great goals if you have those and those are motivating to you. But no matter what, I want you guys to start thinking about long-term goals and just overall this idea of playing the long game. So let's shift over to that. What does that look like? What does that mean? So I want you to start thinking about, again, here we are, end of October, a couple months left in the year to still hit some goals and make some progress or make some progress towards whatever goals you have, even if it's not possible to reach the full-on goal. And to and for us going into the new year in a couple months, right? And, and overall, I want to set you up with this concept for life, with whatever goals it is that you have, okay? So when we think about playing the long game, I want you to actually think about where do you want to be a year from now? What's the goal for a year from now? Not, not even two months to the end of the year. Like that you can you can have the mini goals along the way. Absolutely. I do that. But there's a big picture goal for a year from now. I have goals for two years from now. I have goals for seven years from now. And I have goals for 10 years. So I want you to start thinking about, and if even if it's like, okay, I want to lose 20 pounds. Okay, that's fine. You want to lose 20 pounds in a year. Okay. Not that it's not possible to hit that in three months. Many of my clients have done that. But if you find yourself always doing the quick fix goals, I want you to just shift and try the long game. 
give yourself a whole year to lose 20 pounds. And you know what? If you hit it before then, fucking gravy, right? <laughs> like amazing. Bonus points. But most of us, if we set a, pound, a, a goal and we say, oh, I want to lose 20 pounds in three months, and then we don't hit it, we feel like shit. And then we just stop or we say, oh, see, I can never do it. Then we quit. So don't set yourself up to quit. Give yourself a whole year. And then what's the two-year goal? Is it you want to lose 20 pounds in a year so that in two years you can run your first marathon? And that in three years you could have your first kid because you're healthier? What are those goals, right? Or you want to play with your grandkids. You want to be healthy and really set the tone over the next five years if that's the stage of life you're in, right? Or if it's you want to simply just lose some weight right now and then in two years so you could uh, work to run the race and then in three years you want to be like the fittest you've ever been in your life. That's not a 30-day, three-month freaking goal. That's a three-year goal, right? I literally, I'll share this here. I haven't put this out there yet. But with me taking my step back and being in my off season, one of my goals is to be the fittest I've ever been over the next two years. I've given myself two years. I have goals for a year from now as my like check mark of what that looks like to hit. But I'm not being cray cray thinking like I'm going to be the fittest shape I've ever been in my entire life in three or six months. <laughs> and y'all, I'm fit. I am really strong. I am more fit than the average person, right? Ultra marathon athlete, been doing it for 10 years. And I am still giving myself two years, two full years to become the fittest I've ever been in my life. And I'm already probably 80% above where most people are, if not more. Do you see that? Now, just use that as perspective and reflection for where you're at. Give yourself some time. Be realistic. Don't play on a unicorn goal or a unicorn schedule where you're like, you know what? I'm going to lose 20 pounds in three months, and then I'm going to have a six pack in six months, and then I'm going to run the marathon another three months from there. Like for real, when you've got kids, when you have a full-time job, when you're building your business, when you can barely like squeeze in a healthy meal, just like one a week, <laughs> right? So just, just pull back. Okay. And I want you to start thinking more long-term, long game. And I, and the benchmarks you can use one year goals, three year goals, five year goals, 10 year goals, really start to think about that. So it's not something that you do. And then, Oh, once you hit the goal, you quit. Guess what? When you have that kind of a plan for anything, then you'll go right back to where you were. And I think most of us know that, right? I've talked to so many people who are like, I lost the weight, but then I stopped doing the things and now I've gained it all back. So you have to play on long game to see what does my life look like three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, and who do I have to become? What are the habits I have to have on a consistent week to week basis to produce this, right? You don't just work out for four days a week or, and eat healthy for 30 days or 90 days and then get to maintain that for the rest of your life. You have to keep doing those things. <laughs> Anytime we reach a result, we have to keep doing those things. Just like in money, right? You can't just budget and save for a season or for a year and then just go back to your old spending habits. Well, then you'll go back in debt, right? Or you'll do whatever you created before. We have to find something we can maintain and sustain consistently in order to reach the first goal that will then give us this like spark and ignite the momentum inside of us to say, well, that's possible. I did it. Now what else is possible? And you start going down this road of possibility and of checking off the boxes of all the things you want to achieve in your life when you start to play the long game and set these long game goals in whatever area it is, okay? I am so excited for this next season of goals and going after the things. And I hope this is helpful for you guys to really take that step back and start to see 
you know what? I've done it this way and I still don't have the results I wanted. Why not just try this new way? Why not just try to play the long game and see what that, see how that goes, right? Now, obviously, you still have to do the things week to week, day to day. And I really uh, definitely encourage, you know, setting the mini goals along the way to just like how I'll do a race and I train for six months, right? I don't just say, oh, I want to run a marathon a year, ultra marathon a year from now. I'm still doing the things all throughout, whether it's my off season or a full on training season. I still have mini goals along the way that motivate me. And that have me showing up for the day to day for the long game goal. I'm not saying don't just like set those mini goals in between, but I'm saying have that be from the thread of the long game big picture goal. Okay. I hope this is so helpful for you guys. Um, Please share this. And if you have any comments, questions, you're like, okay, but what about this? Or how do I do it this way? Or any of that, please feel free to reach out on Instagram at Samantha's Real Life, Um, just on Facebook was my name, Um, anything. I would love to hear from you guys, your takeaways from this and what shifts it's allowing you to see and even any of your long game, long-term goals. Okay. Um, All right. I will see you guys again soon.